Teresa with SmokingHotCigarChick.com. Today I wanted to do a fun experiment, which is something I've been wanting to do for myself at home, and I wanted to share the experiment with you. I haven't done this before, so you'll be kind of going through this for the first time with me. Uh, recently at Reserve 101, they had a whiskey tasting, and Glen Rothes was the feature there. So Ross Henry from Glen Rothes taught us a lot about the whiskey company, and Along with having a uh, tasting the different styles they had available in the bar, he brought a couple special treats, uh, two of which included the 1985 vintage and the 1975 vintage. Having said that, if you ever find a 1985, call me. It's terrible. Just send it to me. I'll take care of it for you. So uh, let me know if you find that one. So uh, he kind of gave me a challenge to play around with some of the styles and see if I could have fun with cigars. And so I decided to pick three cigars that I know I enjoy on my own separately, but I think that could be very enjoyable with the whiskey as well. It's something that's kind of important to me, if I'm going to have a cigar with a whiskey, I want to make sure that both of them can stand alone. That way, I, you know, that, that way the, the, the matching the pairing is just purely for fun. It's not a necessary means to enjoy it. So for me, for the cigars, I want to pick uh, three cigars. I picked all from the same uh, manufacturers, from Ernesto Perez Carrillo, which has been one of my favorites lately. I really enjoy the styles that he's made. I decided to go with the New Wave Connecticut, uh, which is a mild plus to the lighter side of the medium body side. It's got a good hint of spice in there, and there's a couple uh, spice notes here that I think will play pretty well. Uh, none of these whiskeys are particularly smoky, so I think you know there's nothing to kind of mass a cigar with, so I feel pretty safe smoking that. Uh, I picked the Coraline as well. Uh, the Coraline for me, I get you know uh, some coffee notes, some oaky notes, some cedary notes, uh, good complexity. Medium to full, nothing that's too full, so I think it'll still play very nicely here. And then the third I picked is the new Madeira that they, that they uh, recently released, which has you know some dark chocolate notes as well as coffee notes. Uh, and again, I, I, some of the characteristics that I think might be interesting, I get some kind of toffee notes here every now and then, so I think that that might play off nicely with the coffee and the chocolate. So. I'm going to taste each one of these individually first before I light up the cigar. Just kind of like a mental reminder so I know which notes stand out the most for me. And then I'm going to light up my first cigar and go from there. So the first one I'm going to be tasting is the Reserve. And this is uh, this is their their signature line. This is supposed to represent the characters that they want you to understand is in their in their profile. So this kind of represents them as a whole. There isn't an age statement on there. Uh, they, my understanding is they use different ages, different barrels to kind of maintain that, that uh, consistency. Because like cigars, it's everything, every year is going to be different, every crop is going to be different. So this is kind of how they keep a uh, consistency. So the first thing I smell in the nose is I smell vanilla, some honey, and definitely citrus. Like very good citrus notes. The citrus is really strong on this one. It's nice though. I get a lot of floral in there too, actually. Very smooth. Pretty soft in the palate, but kind of bites in the middle in a good way. Nothing too harsh. Very, very elegant. Now, I've been debating uh, which one I want to go to next on these next two bottles. And I think I'm going to go with the 1994 vintage before I go for the 98. When I think of the 98, I think of like a dessert. And so that's kind of something I usually want to finish off with. And I don't want any of the those kind of factors to, to blind me from this. So I'm going to have a sip of water real quick. And I have some crackers here too, just to kind of help uh, cleanse the palate a little bit. So the next one here I'm going to have is a 1994. This one's won some awards lately too, so I've been very anxious to play with this one to kind of bring my cigars in here. And this is the one I really get that, that, that toffee note, some sweetness. Fruit notes definitely in there too. velvety on the palate, just kind of coats, where some of them are a little bit softer and airier, that one's kind of, it's a bit more dense, very rich, like a rich, long finish. Delicious. So, third one I'll be tasting the 1998. I like on the bottles too, and don't let the bottles fool you, these are like a full <laughs> bottle, just like the shape of it, you can kind of see it's an illusion. But what's cool too is they have like the they have notes here that tell you that when it was uh, when it was made when it was bottled there's a signature on every single bottle here as well and it gives you flavor 
my notes. So for this one, it says lemon, citrus, rich vanilla, cinnamon. So let's see. Pairs off with the with the flavor. Ooh, the finish. Finish. I get like fruits, like tropical, like coconut, coconut, and like just maybe like a banana or something. There's some good flavors in there. I definitely get the spice as well. That's really cool. And the citrus, I definitely taste the citrus, but not as much as I did in the, uh, in the reserve. All right. So yeah, I'm going to cleanse my palate here and light up my first cigar, and I'll be back with you in a second. All right, so I started with the New Wave Connecticut. And it's one of those, this is where I'm really curious to see how things uh, pan out, is on paper, a lot of times, flavor profiles look good together. But when you actually taste them, it's a whole different world. That's kind of where mouthfeel comes into play, where it hits you on the palate, how it lingers, and how it kind of grabs the smoke. So on paper, I've been really curious to try the Select Reserve with the New Wave Connecticut, just because they kind of have uh, that little bit of spice in the finish here. And this has such a good spice to it. I mean, it's... It's not your typical Connecticut. There's a lot of flavor going on. And I think, hopefully, these two play out. And I purposely haven't tasted a cigar with any of these, so you better appreciate this. I have been very good. So you get my first reactions. <laughs> All right. Having said that, let's go with the first one. So. citrus on there. It hasn't died out at all, which I was kind of concerned. Sometimes citrus can take away from the cigar. But I'm really tasting the pepper. The pepper that was subtle here kind of kicked up a little bit. Uh, it didn't intensify as much as like the amount of pepper, uh, like, a, like a spice kind of thing, but more of like a, it's more round. Like the, the liquid feels a bit richer to where it was softer on the palate before. Now it's, it's kind of uh, toughened up a little bit. So let's see now with the cigar after having a sip of the whiskey. Cigar tastes great too. I'm getting more citrus because the citrus is so strong, but it's not affecting the cigar. My, my palate's still coated very well, tasting great. So, so far, I'm very happy with that one. Now, the next one's really for fun because that's kind of where I really wanted to see it taste together, but you know what? I'm going to go with the 94 next. So, this is a 94 with the New Wave Connecticut. definitely stand out. Dried fruits especially, very rich still. I actually kind of like the way that the, this particular, the 94, affect the cigar. For me, the cigar, like the, the, subtlety, the subtle notes became more prominent. It's definitely f not fuller in strength, but fuller in body. We always want more flavor than strength, and I think for me, this one, this particular one is giving the cigar more flavor, or letting the flavor stand out more. Whereas here, I think the cigar affected the whiskey more. So that's kind of cool. All right, so now I'm gonna try the 98. And I'm still getting that kind of that, the, the tropical kind of flavors are in there, but now the spice, and again, the way I think, just the way the cigar is cutting my tongue, it's really bringing out the, the spicier notes. Vanilla stands a lot stronger than it used to. The vanilla to me was definitely there, but not as, uh, it was a bit more subtle. So now it's very much the tropical notes in the finish, not in the front. Uh, the vanilla in the front's very, very nice. It's a bit stronger now because of the cigar. And the cigar plays very nicely with it too. All right, I've lit up the core line. I'm getting a lot of good oaky flavors, very earthy, great earthy cigar, medium body plus, medium to full. Uh, for this part of the experiment, I'm going to go backwards because it's my experiment again. So I'm going to start, actually I'm going to start in the middle, I'm going to start with the 94. Mmm, 94 tastes sweeter now. Just a little bit sweeter. Um, still a bit of spiciness. I think some of the earthy kind of woodsy qualities are uh, playing into the scotch. I'm going to try with the cigar real quick. Soften up the cigar just a little bit. So I'm going to move on to the next one right now. I'm going to go to the 98. Mm. Now on the 
this one, it's funny, the tropical kind of flavors stand out more than the vanilla and the spices. So let's see how it is with the cigar real quick. I'm getting more of the flavors from the whiskey and the cigar now. It's kind of cool. Still earthy, good uh, profile in here. It's a complex cigar, which I like because there's more elements you can kind of mix into. But I'm getting more of the whiskey and the cigar. So this, these two are kind of playing pretty nicely together. I'm really enjoying that. I'm going to sip of water before I go to the select reserve. Let's see how this tastes. That's a citrus bomb, I gotta tell you. It's pretty good though, with the, with the cigar. I'm getting more of the woody elements now with the citrus. I don't get the vanilla there, but it's not as strong. Citrus is strong, but the woody characters of the cigar I'm tasting more in the whiskey now. It's a good thing, actually. The cigar tastes actually from like when I first tasted it without any whiskey. It's tasting more like that, so I don't think this is affecting the cigar. More so the cigar is really kind of relating to the, the whiskey, so it's kind of cool. All right, I'm gonna finish off with my material and see what happens there. Smoking my Ernesto Perez Carrillo. This is the Coraline Maduro. This is the fuller of the set to me. It's still medium body to full, more on the medium plus side of full body side. Uh, good coffee notes, good like bittersweet chocolate notes. Uh, this is kind of my my uh, dinner into dessert cigar. So having said that, I think I still want to go back to the 94. I keep going back to that one. Kind of something about the toffee. This is, a, this, like, before with the Connecticut, the new wave, where I was very curious about this one, on paper, I'm very curious about this one. So, let's see. Okay, I like that one a lot. It really spices up this, uh, the, the whiskey, but that toffee kind of, the sweetness tones down a bit, more of the savory qualities kind of come out, but it's more like a... I'm not usually a huge dessert person, but one of my favorites is like a sticky toffee pudding where it's not super sweet, but it's kind of got that savory goodness to it. That's kind of what it makes me think of. It's a really delicious, happy little thing happening. So let me see how it affects the cigar. Works nicely with the cigar, actually. A little bit subtle uh, sweet notes. Uh, it keeps it more on the medium full side than the full body side, so I think it kind of keeps the body in control here. And the flavors really stand out, so strength hasn't been affected here at all. Well-balanced cigars anyway, so it wasn't really an, uh, a concern. But the flavors really stand out, nothing has been lost. So for the next one, I'm going to go to the 98. So we'll take a puff before we take a sip. I'm getting more of like a savory sweetness. The tropical flavors have kind of settled down. I'm getting more of the vanilla, more of the spice. Uh, very good characteristics. Let me see how it plays with the cigar. Cigar tastes great. Again, it's it really has an effect with the flavor of the smoke. The smoke's maintaining consistency. Uh, I'm getting maybe a little bit more sweetness in the cigar than I did previously with the 94, so that's kind of a cool little note to take note of. And I'm going to have a sip of water and then move to my select reserve. I think this one's been affected the most now with the cigar, the citrus, where it was really like that citrus bomb. Now it's kind of a subtler ingredient. I still get the vanilla in there. The spice is kind of, only in the finish, they start to come back around. See what really quick with the cigar though. The cigar again, it tastes kind of like when I first lit it up. Citrus is playing in there a little bit, but it's pretty subtle, so the cigar is maintaining uh, its complexities. But I think it really affected out of the whiskey, is this one affected the whiskey the most. I think my favorite is still, I think, the, the 94 with this particular one with the Maduro. And I was really excited about this one too because it's a broadleaf Maduro. It's not your. Um, that's one of the, something that I think Ernesto is very well known for, and he was very proud of this leaf. So, and this has probably been my favorite of the three too. I don't know. It depends on my mood, but this has been a fun experiment, and 
I have to say, try this at home. I mean, maybe you don't want to light up three cigars at once, but maybe pick a cigar and a couple different whiskeys and play around and see what uh, how things affect you. I mean, taste is subjective anyway. So thank you for joining me on this tasting. Let me know if you experiment and which ones you're, are your favorites too. And let me know about your own little experiments at home with your whiskeys of choice. All right, I'll be speaking with you soon. Take care. Bye.